IST reporting services in Bonn for another round of climate change negotiations. Here, the goal is to pave the way for COP21 in Paris when countries are expected to adopt a new multilateral climate agreement. From Bali in 2007 to Paris in 2015, climate adaptation gained importance in the agenda, mainly through the National Adaptation Plan, or the NAP process. To discuss this theme, a side event was convened here in Bonn by the NAP Global Network, bringing together representatives of developing countries and bilateral donors. Today's event was really about introducing the NAP Global Network to the international climate policy audience. We wanted to add value to this process by creating a platform of bilateral donors together with uh, partners in the countries in order to increase visibility to practical technical um, experiences in bringing across NAP uh, processes in the countries. The problem that which is identified is that we, we created something through the UNFCCC, this NAP process, and it needs some interpretation um, at, uh, at the national level in the countries it was uh, designed for in terms of uh, primarily for the least developed countries and trying to help them understand what this process means. And, and the, val the value add of, of this network is really where the, where the donors are supporting that bilaterally um, and trying to help support uh, developing country partners in, in integrating adaptation into their national development plans and policies. We want to make sure we're saying the same things and then we have the same interpretation of, of what this process is about and how it fits with their development priorities um, and how we as bilateral donors are able to support that the best. The in-country coordination is very important. So there should be a buy-in of the sectoral agencies. The fact that when you do your climate change adapt adaptation plan, this is you have to deal with the different sectors. You know, climate change is cross-cutting. So really there should be an understanding among the relevant stakeholders on what is adaptation and what kind of adaptation measures could be implemented and what will be the basis in the development of the IOR adaptation plan, like looking at what will be the impacts, for example, of a one degree increase in temperature. So going beyond the business as usual, but planning, doing an anticipatory planning. The term goal we have is to integrate climate change adaptation into the sectors and not just have uh, sectors look at a whole a overall national adaptation plan with just the sector sectors featured in the document. So we just want to bring a more mainstream approach to adaptation. Regarding the challenge of addressing adaptation, you know, Malawi, in Malawi we have what we call the Malawi Growth and Development Strategy, which has put climate change management as one of the priorities for government. That's based on the recognition of how uh, climate change is impacting you know, to the growth of, of, the, of, the, of the country. However, as you may recall, or you may be aware that cl addressing climate change challenge is not only for government. You know, we need you know, support for us to do that so that we are able to increase the resilience of our people. For me, the value of uh, a well-coordinated um, uh, national adaptation plan process um, uh, leading to mainstreaming is that it it leads to better planning because a uh, better implementation because it's embedded into a strong national framework. In conclusion, Anne Hamel from the International Institute for Sustainable Development explained what are the next steps of the NAP network. After this event, I guess the, the most immediate next step for the network is we're going to be hosting a targeted topics forum in Rio in early July. Um, and there we're really going to focus on two specific but interrelated topics related to national adaptation planning. And that's securing high level political support for national adaptation planning and then also sectoral integration. And so we really want to get a group of practitioners and decision makers who would otherwise not interact, whether it be at some UNFCCC meeting or other um, forums out there, to really sit down and unpack what these challenges are about and learn from each other. We've got um, representatives from about 10 developing countries that are, we're hoping will, will be there and to share experience, best practice. Um, so that'll be the main uh, activity for the, the network between now and Paris. Wow.